the scythe. They're going to have good bursts with the, with the scythe, the finger uh, from Borax. Uh, they can look to pop some of these here like Arbed, you know, Spirit, sure you have the flame guard. But the setup. You have been denied. You're going to get any TPs coming in from Master. Are oh, they going to help their assistant coach here? 86 will standing in on the Kunga. He's having a good time, but now 86, he says, well. First and, this your best and here come the shots. 86 standing in, and uh, he's the man to take the first Dyer's blood. I mean, that, that's going to be a morale boost and a half here for us. The, the double bracer build, it wasn't even close. Yeah, they not they, even it was close not even close to taking them out. They, they didn't do their maps there, EG. No. They did not crunch the numbers, and uh, 86 ended up crunching them. And they didn't even, they didn't overreact either. Like, a lot of them, he had a TP, but they were cool. They kept it the they, 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 the they, they were like, wait, what? What are they doing? They're not going to kill us? Uh, we'll see maybe now. 86. Oh, I will die this time. Strike, Gigi, they strike, weren't having strike, any of that. They came straight back and made sure to <laughs> get some revenge. Well, right. They do bring 86 down. Tower is under attack. And uh, by the looks of it, Arbed, with the damage of this flame guard, the stun's going to be up in a second, but it doesn't matter. Arbed runs them down. So oh, this is obviously the dangerous <laughs> thing. You know, you, you give uh, Arbed some reason Radiant's to fire up in the mid. Is under uh, attack. He will. Uh, quite literally here on the Ember Spirit. Two kills straight up. After that uh, first loss, the first blood. 86 stuck around a bit too long in that line. Dyer's top tower is under the attack. With the follow up. Uh, it's going to be easy. Hitting back very hard. <laughs> they weren't too happy about losing that first blood. Minutes is usually when the pressure starts being too much in your safe lane that you have to start moving. One A gets left. Dyer's top tower is under attack. In the first. Quiet, Mone. He's out of the trees with the wave. Radiant's oh, bottom tower find him. is under attack. Spirit's out. The other shadow's ticking him down. E.G. Getting uh, very active. Right now. They, they will let this top lane go by the looks of it. Right. These right. heroes that we do feel are going to be strong like the Tiny. So are the pro players. They're, they're going to come into this tournament with a lot of preparation against how they want to draft and play against them. And uh, they're going to be the ground here. They're going to be under attack. One hero's beaten down upon him. <laughs> we'll see Arbet trying to catch more. Looking for 86. So I have a bottle of this. So further chase here. That Arbet. tombstone though. <laughs> uh, a bit weird there from Lonim. That one just kind of just free money for EG. And now the tower might also be in jeopardy because that tombstone was dropped. Yeah, they can't really put a Radiant's out. middle tower is under Access attack. Gone. Accesses might just TP back in as they are rotating over. Boats back up, but yeah, no tombstone available is going to be used by Lonim. Yeah, which maybe should get chased down. Off the old, stop comes out onto them. Aren't easy for them to finish off the tower. Have a large out of armor between the split of the land. I'm able to heal up <laughs> the rip. Trying to fish though from Arbet just Ooh, cuts through uh, them. That's going to be a Lanham gone down. Sleeper set up onto XXS. Dark from 86 to hold back Arbet for now. But Arbet is still charges. He's still good to continue to chase. Change set up into the arrow. EG, they'll catch the Necromorph. XXS is still alive. Able to put the stick in underneath. Nightmare save from Fly, I believe it was. Nightmare on to high side size. Saves it for the Reapers up for 86. He'll find the two man torrent. A couple of bits, he gets it off just before the stop comes in. So high side size still goes down. Monet chasing Fly into the river. Disaster will hit back. A, 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 a very admirable save attempt there from Fly to, to keep high side size alive. But unfortunately for the two of them, they do still both end up going attack. down. Casualties as well on the side of Asta, but where the team fight ends, Radiant's Asta in a position to push back, under attack. take this tier one mid. Yeah, no, Dyer's uh, middle the, the tower mistakes coming has out fallen. didn't even use his hood. He would have lived. And you can always get that off. Something important. Sleep into the arrow, you'll get the BKB yeah. off. So it's going to be a good way to cover them. And as we said for EG, they... Oh, Lana. Yes! Hold back up, and Arteezy is in on top of 86. Both comes down. Max well, as well. Max doing his best to control Arbet, stop him from being able to jump in and get 86. The slider fist won't catch 86. 86 is able to step up to the high ground. Borax will lose his life. Rate. 86 will be saved. Still, though, Arteezy claiming the two Radiant's kills there. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They want to start to look for these fights. Pre BKB on the Kunga, keep going. You know, they've got Spirit Vessel. Keep looking for these looking for these pickoffs. That's what their lineup is entirely about. They do not want to get into these 5v5 engagements yet. The Rune of it. Illusion. We see yeah, Asta playing very careful body yep. in the trees. XXS as well. He's out of the bottom lane. Doesn't want to be pushing out any further himself whilst he knows that he's going to be on the move. 
Shadowblade Echo done on RTZ looking for kills. Hey. Come out, Fly. Spotted. And straight away, yes. immediate grip it from Fly leaves no Go. chance. And that's, you know, you're gonna ask one the of the... Womb of See that animation? No, you didn't, because there pretty much is none. Absolutely instant. Uh, a bit of a mess up here for Aster. It's Radiant's bottom low. tower is under attack. They're in their best to make sure they don't get caught up in the top of the arrows in. It's a Monet. Did you really get in on this? Roshan, very low. Radiant bottom tower. Arbet might be able to jump in and out. He's setting it up. Remnant's in. Arbet might move for the steal. Early jump. We'll be able to head out of the pit and get out of there. Maybe not fly. Peach for it. Locks him down. True match community is 86. Will manage to, to get Love caught it. on the way out. We're jumping on the back line. Monet's feeling confident and with that Aegis that he's just picked up. He's jumping the once. For another round here, fly. Set up for Axe. Might be able to help turn in the high ground. The one death on Monet. See if they can do it again. XX is ready to step over. Find some extra heals and safety here for Monet. Monet. So the wall fly finger comes out, hex as well from Borax as he locks down fly, they bring down the vein. Saving that PKB here for this point for the fight now, but as to they've got nothing left to you. So XXS run down by the tiny. They have got the Roche and the Aegis, but EG they certainly take the fight. Right now, some more just about the disables that's coming. Down and that is a link now done. Dyer's top tower has fought that bane. Radiance middle tower. Lots of ways to break attack. it, of course, with the enfeeble. Yeah, they're looking to, to of course, yeah, access. Let's get the bonus orb up as well. Yep. Anything they could throw on this Monet more for make sure that he has a free time in the fights. The high ground, I says, I try to stop set up. The sleep. Tower is clear as well. They are starting to get quite strong because of that ET. Has been it. Does it? Is it on him? Sleeping to Arrow. I have to be just on it. Borax is going to try and jump back in the queue. He's having the BKB off of the spoon. Comes in, Ice Hunter gets the kill. He's over to the side. Punches down Borax. Now he's just ready to chase for more. Zone 3 left up here on Arrow. They're looking towards Mane. Mane is going to come out to try to get away. There's a gun upon him. He's going to get destroyed as well. Arrow. Fire and fire with the remnants. Up to the high ground as well. With the dive and a good kill. There's more success. It's not enough damage. EG the team white tapster. And it was a buyback from Mane. He bought back and died almost instantly. Limestone feels like it's doing literally nothing. They are just bypassing it instantly, no cares at all. As EG now have taken full control of this yeah, game. This is AK lead. Radiant's EG middle tower out of control. is under attack. And have a crit next. Yeah. As well as our TZ. Pretty much got the silver right now. Again, just a rough start. I mean, maybe if they just let Lanham go, but uh, we saw 86 getting tower. caught at the start of it. The BKB can't come Radiant's out middle tower and, is under uh, attack. He's just gone. And three against five is never going to be fun. It's especially against the middle chase that EG has have. Arbeb with the Zags. Radiant's and middle barracks are under attack. It's been a rough forward with that immunity. Monet just not getting the player's game at all. Matt, sure, tower. we'll get you it's out of the chains, but Avalanche is always going to cause an Radiant's issue for trying to escape as well. I think that was literal worst case. That's the reason why EG is getting these grabs. Oh, the jump of the burst. Fingers out. Nightmare set is attempted. The BKBs come off. Artie's is now ready to step back. Monet grabs at the front of it all. As they focus down the fourth link. Now they turn over towards the Necrofox. XXS will slowly get burnt here by Armen. There's no amount of healing to save against that. 86. He'll live. More action. He's going to try and break away, but arben has got the catch. Slide a fist into the chain. Three more kills for EG. And they'll jump out. They know that they can't take any more fights like this. GG is called EG. Take this game one against that. Really? Yeah, I mean, the best in the, the sort of first half, but then things started to slow down. You know, the team play from EG came into, into effect. And it really was sort of one of those things that.
guys. Really rough, actually. That's a really good, and that's an artesian. Yeah, classic. it's 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 just yeah, easy hooks. It's just guaranteed, pretty much. No matter even if he runs all the way back. Yeah, and they've got the three of them there. Makes it sure. Top. Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's having to play very cautious up here as the closest we've we'll seen from Asta. Very much upon him, and oh, he's gonna get run down by Borax. Asta, get the first it's blood here. This is, yeah, this lane setup is everything. Really liking that. Might still go a little bit beefier. Bottom. Arts Easy could be in trouble here. They've got the pull. Boris coming around with the wrap rounds down in a rut. The two of them. Arts Easy getting blasted by Lanham. He'll yeah, fall. He's going down too. They're going to be able to get the two here. Borax with that wrap around as Ichis, they step up quite aggressively in the lane. Weren't quite ready for the three of them. Asta to turn around, get those kills. Borax is pudge. Pretty soon. Because then you actually have a better kill threat. We did see it say Ice probably is going to go the hood. He's got it. So it's. Might it's be a bit of a tough kill. kill. Aye, they could go for crit instead, they though. Sure Pull. Sets up the hook. Crit's gonna go straight for the TP attempt, but they have the damage. Asta, they'll cut down the Shaman. Ice, size, size. He's got the back of a barbell coming in. They jump forward. Burst through four, actually. High 86 with the response, though. TP's over. Tornado and the EMP coming out. Arbed's burned very low on the mana. Will be Mango Dump, so he's got a little bit more to come back into the fight. Ice, size, size trying to step in, but you see, Ice, size, he's not quite hit the six yet, so no Ravage available for this. They're turning onto him. They take him out. Jump forward from Arbed, cleans up Lanham. Now Arbed's got to run. The next exit, yes. he's hit the six. six. He's ready to chase him down. Cold snap from 86. Sets up for the Rolling Thunder. XXS getting the angle for the bounce back. Jump in with the shield crest. They bring down Arbed. Arteezy is heading in, but another perfect line there from 86. He chucks them both up into the arm for the map. He'll try and play his way out of here. Hook off the mark. Well, is that whether there's any escape from Surely he's not quite got enough mana for the TP. Just try and switch his treads over. To, to help him escape, but and they'll be able to cut him out and kill him off. Same time in the mid, a dive was made, but only losing Lanham on the Lich there. It was the bigger loss for EG being that up top as, yeah, yeah I guess we just felt that they, they sort of left the area, that they hadn't, his teammates had, but Asta, they were still around. I think they were like trying to bluff that they were still sitting behind him, right? And then they go mid. They at least get the tower though. That's a pretty big kill with the first open ward usage. Now they do walk into the ancient area with the tombstone with ice ice ice. It's not a stack or anything like that, but being able to deny at least one of them to away from the big, but fly be able to get away. Works. He's in trouble. Yeah, he's got the hook straight back into the reach of the two of them. Fly. Taken down. Another kill here for Monet. One for one. Just maxing the heck. Find something here, Mon 8. Took by Lanham. Can they him. burst it? Sure can. Walks down, grabs there. Lanham. Yeah, they're off the shield, but he's only ended up throwing oh, his own life away as well by the looks of it. Get the chain frost off, but ends up bouncing over towards the neutral. They've got control on the wild bed, but still able to jump out. As uh, oh, great hook from Borax. Borax able to Beautiful. find the angle. Grabs our bed straight back in as he attempts to jump away there with a simile. Link, but yeah. And they're very close to stuff. Abed's about to have his agnips too. Oh, I'm ready to see, but A6 very cool from Tornado. Ravage still comes out. A hook save attempts there from Borax, but won't be able to grab 86. As 86 falls, no XXS jumps in. He's got the shield crash, the rolling thunder. He's taken down Abed. Now he's going to have that angle to permanently lock down Fly. There's no escape for the Undying. The Invoker, but Asta, they'll take down Abed in return. Plus a bit of a setup. Mana. How much they want to go in on him here. Quick heal of the mana boost from Fly, but Rolling Thunder comes in from XXS. Ice, ice, ice. I mean, he's been watched by the rest of his team. Is there anything EG can do to keep him safe? The blast comes in. Another crossfire there with the Rolling Thunder. Ice, ice, ice is gone. EG, they just can't really get a team fight together around him. Arbet's going to try and jump over towards Lanham, but Lanham, he won't quite die. He's off the side. A hook attempt to save XXS from the Lincoln. It'll be enough. Arteezy doesn't want to chase up anymore. So EG, even with the full five, the Aegis on Arteezy, not able to find a good fight there. Sunstroke, Tev, Dunge, Crit won't catch Oops. him. They're hiding the pit, but oh, Borax will find him. Hook straight in, catches Crit. Hard to catch Asta with the heavy reactions, but They're all maybe, right maybe he's able to catch them off guard. Asta has more of a timing here than EG. 
ahead. Jump to the more, more axe. Zed it in, Ice Ice is in! Oh, it's a big man, Ravage! Ice Ice Ice, that's what you want to see from the man. Gets in, separates the fight completely. As the punch goes down, Artie's never able to make Monet. a really like drink towards Mane with the lick building up. The gyro goes down. That was where he buys back. I don't know if there's going to be much that Asta can do about this. It's ice, ice, ice. That's what you want to see from the man there. It's been a bit of a slow game for him, but getting in with a five-man ravage. And exactly now. what EG need to open the game up for them. And he's got Refresher and he's hiding it. He hasn't shown himself just yet. He's hiding in the tree line. So this this is going to catch him off guard completely. I see this. Yeah. That's it. Here we go. Here we go. Jumps forward. He's going to get the two of them, but that's enough. Invoker and the Lich out of it. 86 and Lanham taken down neither with buyback. Yeah, he was just saving the good ones till the end here, yeah. Ice Ice Ice. And I completely take back about, uh, I guess, Aster having the better timing there than EG, but Aster just, they didn't get their yeah. BKBs off. They just got hit completely by the Ravage, and Borax, him jumping in, actually gave the initiation for EG. Now EG, they just get a Rax off. Huge plays, Ice Ice Ice. Yeah. Coming in clutch. Uh, three. Yeah. Played it patient, played it slow. Didn't want to blow too many Ravages early. He only goes for the big ones, and... Uh, that'll, that'll certainly do it. To get it, the, the racks in the mid, off the back there of Ice Ice Ice. Way harder to fight into, as we have seen. You know, XXS, he decided to play more of a selfish kind of build, going for his like, damage and all that. No matter what, he can never match the team fight that a Tidehunter is going <laughs> to. Said, and it's not easy to do either. Tries to get against these PKBs, but at last moment, he certainly made it work. Got to be very responsive with the BKBs. They've got to be prepared for those jumps. You can't get sort of tunnel visioned and baited in by that. The moves of one of them is Borax. Chris is in. Yeah. Got the yeah, from a mile off here, grabbing him. And it will put a stop to it. Borax is able to live. He's going to try and reset himself, get the angle for maybe a hook. He wants to find anything. Rolling Thunder off to the side. Bounces around off to Crit. Crit will go down. Ice, ice, ice. He's in with the Ravi. He's got the first jump on the Monet. The second Ravi comes down, but the BKB was off in time for Monet. Arbed trying to kill Borax underneath the tier fours. It's not enough damage. Borax will live. ZG, they'll back out. Now, with the double Ravage is being used there this time round. Asta, for the most part, able to keep themselves safe. Fun's not over yet, though, Gush. In the round of ball, 86 having to use his own BKB. Keep himself alive. A very sort of heavy. And there it is, oh, Lotus. quick Lotus, wow. instant Lotus there before the Hex comes out. Is it going to be enough to take Monet, refreshing the second Hex from Monet, but it's not enough. Monet will be able to live, and now they look to turn. They get to grab the fight on the right side side, the ball that comes crashing through as well. Artizzi with the BKB, Artizzi pops the second round, the BKB still there for Monet. Artizzi, he has the physical though, the link builds up, they take down Monet. Five are coming out from Asta. XXX trying to roll over, but it's a lot of damage here built up on the Razor. They step near Arteezy, he will tear them apart as Arteezy takes down another, brings down 86, jump ball from Ahmed, he's looking for control, on to Monet, Arteezy, he's just beating them down one by one, it's left to Monet and 86 to try and hold, but Monet will fall, and by the way, 86 has nothing else to defend with, GG's called, EG, they'll take the second game, the series, it's theirs, 2-0. To zero. Just some big ravages that I mean mid was everything, right? Just the double ravage, or sorry, the single I, ravage catching the five heroes, that was it, and then gets refresher, yeah. able to catch them on the high ground too and